Hello, my name's Artemis, and is it me or is everybody making the same shit these days? It seems like everybody who wants to be a YouTuber or a TikToker, for as long as you're allowed to do that, by the way, they seem to just want to make the same stuff over and over again. Oh, they made that video and it was really popular. Maybe it'll be popular for me, and I'll just make the same thing without adding anything new. Just a different color fursuiter saying the same information. And we got so many of these goddamn cookie cutter videos out there, and I don't want to smirch anybody who wants to create and wants to put themselves out there in a creative way that's good you should use that passion but maybe you should use it on something original but ow enough fucking blabbing about it it got me thinking i've tried to avoid all these cookie cutter fucking videos as best i can but maybe i was missing a trick maybe i need to just get them done get them out of the way and considering they're so fucking hollow and empty and everyone said that shit many times before could i just speed run the fuck out of them and do all 50 of them in under 10 minutes well, that's the goal. Let's see if I can. What is the furry? It's somebody who likes anthropomorphic characters, which is basically an animal with human features. What is the fursuit? This. It's a suit that's furry that makes you look like an animal. How expensive is a fursuit? Depends how good you want it to be, and all of our makers are very good, so you're going to pay for that quality. If you want cheap shit, you can pay for cheap shit, but you will get cheap shit. These things are expensive for a reason. Do you need a fursuit? No, it's optional. You don't have to have one to be a furry. What is a furcon? It's a convention where furries go to do furry things. Pretty self-explanatory. How do you join the fandom? Turn up to meets, two in Discord groups, just put it in your goddamn bio. There's no rules to this shit, just be one. How to be a YouTuber? Make a video, record it on your phone or something, and then just upload it to YouTube. It's, it's, it's pretty simple. Start an account. Job done. Fursuit styles, there's loads of them. You've got toonie, realistic, semi-realistic, kimono, angel dragon style, you've got the fucking protogens, you've got LED suits, you've got moving jaws, you've got sort of cryptic hybrid ones. There's loads of different styles. I could go on for literally years on this one, but we've covered pretty much the basics. Fursuiting 101, make sure that you have a handler, make sure that you drink lots of water, make sure you take breaks when you need it, and don't be afraid to take your head off if need be. You ain't gonna be able to see much out of this, and it's gonna get very hot. That should be basically obvious. Furcon rules. Don't be a dick. Make sure that you eat and drink following the 621 rule. Uh, having a fursuit does not equal consent, so don't be a dick. Different types of fursuit, you've got head only, semi-partial, partial, full partial, and you've got the half suit, you've got the full suit, you've got the full digi suit, and the plus suit. There are other types, but we're not going into all 500 of them. How to design a fursona? Pick an animal you like, mess around with the colours, give it an obscure fetish and a really slightly imaginative name, but not as an imaginative one as you think, and you're pretty much there. How to be a TikToker? Well, do it as quickly as you can. You might not be doing it much longer, but it's basically the goddamn same as YouTube. Just make a video and upload it to TikTok. Just start an account. There you are. You are one. Easy. Fursuit accessories. There's loads of different things that you can have with a fursuit. You can have big wings, a bigger tail. You can have magnetic eyelids, magnetic tongue to give you more range of expression. You can have props, but that's a whole other fucking cookie cutter video we can make, so we'll do it then. Fursuiting essentials. Make sure you actually wear Under Armour so that you don't have all that sweat soaking into the thing. Brush it regularly. Make sure that you're actually cleaning the goddamn thing. If you're overheating too much, use an easy cool vest so that you don't overheat too much. Easy. How to clean a fursuit. Typically, you should be brushing and cleaning your fursuit after every single use, which you can use fursuit sprays for. Use a fan to air out the head properly so it gets good ventilation and doesn't get disgustingly moldy. Then, basically, for washing it, you don't want to dry clean it. You just want to soak it in the tub. Use a decent detergent. Make sure you soak all of the detergent back out of it. Don't hang it up to dry because the weight of it, when it's wet, will actually stretch the seams and can cause the damage. Don't expose it to direct heat. Don't expose it to direct sunlight. Brush it out once it's dry. Job done. How a fursuit tail attaches. Belt. And sometimes a kidney belt, but still, belt. The different types of hand paws, you've got the five finger ones like mine, which are nice and easy because they're basically gloves. You've got the four finger ones, which you're going to have to split some fingers up because it's not that comfortable. You've got the three finger ones, which are, again, you have to split your fingers up. And the two finger ones, which are basically mittens. Yes, we also have the plush mitten style, but don't expect to be able to use your phone in those. How to make friends in the furry fandom. Socialize. Find common interests. If you have things that you like, go to places where people share things that you like. Go to meets. Don't generally be a creep. Like, like basically the same way you do in normal fucking spaces in the world. Look, there's a fursuit of dancing. It's not me, because I can't dance, but look, I've got someone who can dance to do it for me. Look at that. Amazing. Fursuit who is dancing. Yay. Another big way that you can be a furry is to do a VR chat for Sona, which a lot of people do. You don't even have to have a fursuit for it, just a VR rig. You can get people to mod it, or you can just get a pre-made model that you put your own colors onto. Can be a very good way to basically fursuit without the fursuit in a very digital way. 
Fursuit pops, basically anything plush that you want to carry around. If you can win it at the carnival, probably job done. We've got lollipops, we've got Coca-Cola bottles, we've got fans, cushions, we've got dog toys if you're a dog sonar. It's pretty goddamn easy. How to find local fur cons and meats? Google. Just look it up. It's pretty much as easy as that. Or just look around online and Twitter and just see what's going on. How to get a fursuit. It's pretty easy. Find a maker you like, see what their cue's like. Uh, try and get a fucking quote. If you've got a quote, then see if you can get a slot. If you've got a slot, then just wait. Pay when it's time to pay, and then wait, and then it will turn up. Done. How to commission a furry artist? Uh, speak to the artist if they're open for commissions. Have the idea, give them the idea, pay for the idea, wait, and they will give you the art. Done. You don't actually have to have a fursuit to be in the furry fandom, but if you want to act out a character, there's different ways you can do it. You can use a furry mask, you can use any kind of mask, really. You can use a fucking hoodie instead of a full body suit. A kigu is very popular. You can just go for ears and a tail. You can just have a VR chat avatar. You can be a VTuber. You don't actually have to have a fursuit. It's fine. Oh my god, look at my boyfriends. Look at my wonderful, gorgeous boyfriend. I'm in a relationship. Look at my boyfriend. We spent the day together because we're boyfriends. Look at this. Look at this. We're gay. We're dogs. We're gay dogs on the internet. Look at my boyfriend. Can you outgrow the furry fandom? Of course you can, but it all depends on what exactly you've done whilst you were here and what you were looking for. If you were looking for a community of friends, then this might be the place you stay. If you were just looking for a short creative endeavor and you moved on to something else, then yeah, you might have outgrown it. Coming out as a furry, don't. It's really not necessary. This is a hobby, not a lifestyle. Just don't. Are all furries zoophiles? No, we fucking hate them. We push them the fuck out. We help law enforcement take them down. No, absolutely not. No. Do furries actually think they're animals? No. Some furians and other kins identify as furry, but it's not exactly the same thing. They are different things that can overlap. That's it. Here is my car. Look at it. Here is the engine. Look at it. Here is me in fursuit with my car again. Look at it. Here is me bent over the hood of my car. Look at it. How to date people in the furry fandom? Well, first you've got to meet them, then you've got to try and date them and see if you've got a mutual interest. Also, you need to be furries. I mean, you don't have to be, but if it's in the furry fandom, you're pretty much gonna be. It's, it's really not that much different than dating otherwise. Meet people and see if you've got a connection. Done. How my parents found out I was a furry? I told them. I, may, maybe I left some shit around and they noticed it, but I, I told them. And, and they reacted in various ways, as people do. Scissors are really hard to use in fursuit. Look at how cute I look opening a box. Look at my merchandise. Look at my merchandise. Look, buy the merchandise. You can buy this merchandise by giving me money. Merch. 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 Look, a fursuit outside. That's not normal. That's funny. Look, people found it strange. I went into a Walmart. I didn't buy anything. I just looked around. What a fantastic idea that was. A collab with another creator. Hello, thank you for coming on to my channel. I'm really happy to have you here, and I'm really hoping that I can steal some of your followers. This is tasty. This isn't. That's not that bad. Oh, that's really weird. We don't get that in this country. Isn't eating in fursuit really funny? Because I can't open packets with my fursuit paws. Ha 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 ha. They didn't know that I was famous. I got stopped by airport security. We got so drunk we accidentally swapped fursuit heads. I have daddy issues. Wait. Here are a list of anthropomorphic characters that I would fuck if they weren't fictional. Here's a long list of fursuiters I would fuck. This person is a dick. This one said a slur, and this one allegedly wants to fuck dogs. And I've now boosted my profile by pointing all of that out. Traveling with a fursuit. Well, basically use a decent case. Don't use stupid shit like this. Don't use a tote. Don't use a bag. Bring a head as a carry-on so that you can ensure it's going to remain safe. Be ready for the TSA to open your bag and question what the fuck is all of this. And generally have some common sense. Look at all of these memes on Reddit. I'm going to react to them. That's funny. That's not. That's weird. That's funny. Content. Done. Furry fandom hot takes, don't fuck in public, don't steal art, don't generate AI with other people's stolen art, pay artists more. None of these are ever actually hot takes, they're just opinions that we share, calling them hot takes because it gets more views. Here's my SoundCloud, let's pretend that I can actually play guitar. Oh look, I've dropped some crazy beats, can I be a DJ because I bought all the equipment? Answer is yes. A furry's mainstream, no. Not really. Mainstream enough that Republicans hate us and want to ban us, but other than that, no. French tries on my fursuit. Look, they're wearing a fursuit. Isn't that funny? They found it hot. They found it weird. They kind of liked it. They kind of didn't. Maybe they'll become a furry now. Who knows? Tune in and find out. 
Why I left the furry fandom and why I decided to stop making videos to do with the furry fandom. Spoiler alert, I didn't. I'm still here in the furry fandom making videos to do with the furry fandom. And finally, a bonus one, the face reveal. Really don't know why this is such a big fucking deal. Who wants to see this? Oh, thank you very much for watching. That was a long fucking video to make. Um, hopefully it was under 10 minutes. I don't know because I've not fucking made the full thing yet. This is still needing to be edited. But thank you for watching. Hopefully we got all of this shit out of the way. I don't want to throw shade at people who are making these kind of videos because hell, if you want to play the numbers game, you're going to fucking do well because this shit works algorithmically. It's just, to me, hollow and empty. If someone else has already made the fucking video, why bother making it yourself? What you want to say has already been said. Come up with something original. Come up with something you want to say and share with people. Show a bit of yourself. I mean, at the end of the day, we can just use AI for this shit these days, and unfortunately people do. Not that I'm advocating AI, obviously. Fuck that shit entirely. I'm just saying, this kind of easily generated crap is just... You don't need a 12-minute video on what a furry is. You just Google that shit and get a simple answer. But whatever, it's not for me to judge. It's personal preference, personal preference. Other people might like that shit, and I'm not here to yuck anybody's yum. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. Um, I do like doing these kind of fucking rapid-fire ones, because damn. Um, honestly, I probably could have stretched every single one of these out into its own full-fledged video and had content for an entire year. So maybe I've shot myself in the paw with that one. But hey, speaking of paws, if you want to see some, look at that. That was a smooth transition, smooth little segue into advertising feet and paw pics, wasn't it? Doesn't matter whether it's smooth or not, you're seeing it. But we've also got merchandise, you can, you know, maybe help support this channel with merch if you really liked us that much and you want to get a little something for yourself, definitely recommend that. You should definitely treat yourself to a little something from my merch store. Also, we have the Patreon. If you just like us generally being alive, if you like us being here, existing in this world, having food to eat and water to drink and a roof over our fluffy little heads, then you can help us have all of those things. You can get things so you can join the Discord, you can speak to me, which may even be a punishment. But hey, if you want to punish someone by making them speak to me, fucking get on the Patreon. As long as I get money, I'm happy. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this video and I guess I'll see you all next week. Bye.